finally, woman and motherhood, maternity and fruitfulness, being mom. No? Um, we often repeat the principle in a theological, even philosophical context that life begets life. No? Religious life begets religious life. No? There's this dynamism. Mm -hmm. Life and love begets more life. So just like the philosophical expression that goodness is by nature diffusive, that is, it can't help but to spread and to increase, so too life in the widest sense hmm, gives itself, expands itself. The woman's life cannot be the same when she is with child. Hmm? What begins as the most intimate secret, whether it's received as news with joy or in fear, will not remain a secret forever, and her own body will be changed and recognizably so, announcing that a child is coming. And this little person, who has no idea what's going on, just arrived on the scene, all the hubbub, all the excitement, it's always amazing. It's, it's, I mean, babies are utterly ordinary, yet forever extraordinary. It just, I mean, this happens all the time, but it's always amazing, it's always amazing. And then motherhood has the practical business of feeding and bathing and fussing over and dressing and keeping warm and photographing and telling the neighbors and so on, all that. And this totally dependent, totally adored baby asks for everything without having merited anything. No credentials, no? Yes. The mother loves in a way that cannot be compared with any other love. We, we know this so well, no? Those months together make a bond that is just uh, such a mystery, no? Ordinary but extraordinary. And Mary was no different. In fact, even more so. I mean, authentic adoration and adulation for the child. Now she knew who this was. And no saint has ever passed by the scene of Bethlehem without composing lines of contemplation and beautiful things. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to compete with the beautiful lines of, of the manger. I will leave that to your prayer time. But I will speak, since we're talking about the new evangelization, of Mary as mother of the new evangelization when she teaches and presents the baby to the shepherds and the magi. This is interesting. She welcomed the rough and uncouth shepherds who asked to see the baby. And when Pope Francis talks about how shepherds, the priests of the church, should smell like the sheep, you know, um, shepherds are stinky. And the rough shepherds who came to see the baby were stinky. And the baby wasn't a sturdy toddler like you see in the pictures. He was a fragile, tiny little newborn. And these rough, stinky people she didn't know came barging in and said, we want to see him. And she's like, this is going from bad to worse. I'm in a cave. I'm in a I gave, there's no room at the end. These people, you know. Um, but no, 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 this is, this is, this is just. Instead, she, she was so gracious with the shepherds. And she pulled back the blanket and she, but he was tiny. He's not, he's not like up there waving. He's, he's in her arm. He's very small, very small, no? I mean, this is kind of like um, giving birth in a, in, a, in a garage and then having a bunch of mechanics show up and want to see the baby. <laughs> you know? Um, so, and, and you think, what was it like for her to look at them looking at the baby? Angels had spoken to them. I mean, these guys, you know? And so she must have looked at each one of them, loved each one of them, remembered each one of them, turned them over in her heart. Yeah. And then the finely dressed, sophisticated foreigners came. These guys were like CEO, you know, I don't know, kind of Silicon Valley style guys. These guys were smart, they had technology, they had come from really far away. And um, all that time, they were just willing to follow what was true. They had no idea that it was gonna be this baby. And there are many smart people in our age who are smart and they're following truth and they don't think that his name is Jesus. And when they get closer and if they're really honest and really seeking after truth, they will find him. And it will be Mary who will say the way she did to the Magi, yes, this is, this is him. And you, you, yeah, you can hold him and, and he is God, yes. It's all true. <laughs> Your journey was not for, for naught. Hmm? Now we have to be women like this. We have to be women who hold the baby Jesus in our arms and are ready to share him with others, whether they're poor and disheveled or very sophisticated. Hmm? We have to look at them with love and then be gracious hostesses, gracious guests, to show the treasure that in a mysterious way has been entrusted to us as, as believers, as Christians. Hmm?